This is video number five, how to print from Sketchbook Pro. It would also include how to print in general. So how to print. If you've got your image here and you're ready to print, you'd simply pinch, bring yourself to the menu here, and you can go to this time Share. And from Share, you're going to choose Epson iPrint. And inside Epson iPrint, you're going to see kind of a, a setup like this where your image will be there. And you want to go to the settings over here and make sure the settings are all set up properly. You want this paper size to be 8.5 by 11, paper to be plain paper, and cassette 1 and monochrome. This would be a little bit different if you're printing a t-shirt. This here you would set to 11 by 17 down here. And then you would also set that over here instead of cassette 1 to cassette 2 if you're doing a t-shirt. And then you would click done. If you're having trouble to connect, by the way, your printer should show up. If it doesn't show up here, it might be that you're not connected to the internet. So you check the settings and make sure the Wi-Fi is connected. After that, uh, there's a couple things you can do. You can zoom in and make to something, but you can't make it smaller. So if you're too big, as you can see some of my images being cut off here, I'd have to go back to Sketchbook Pro and use the Transform tool to make my Sketchbook Pro file smaller. Okay, I can also turn it. So down here on the bottom left hand corner, way over here, there's something that is going to allow me to flip the page vertically. Okay, so you might want to do that and zoom in depending on the situation. When you're done, you can simply click print on the bottom right hand corner. And if you see this bar turning yellow and the zero increasing, it means it's starting to print as it's doing right now. If, however, it says busy, it means somebody else is printing and you should go line up at the front of the class and wait in line. So this is printing now. I'm going to show you quickly while I'm here how to print straight an image from the internet. You can do the same thing. If you're going to print, let's say I'm here looking at this image, I can click on it. And all I need to do is press. You should have share. If you don't have share down below here, um, then come and see me on how to do that. Click share and it would be the same thing. Epson iPrint. And there you have this situation where it's going to print. Just like that. In this case it's printing black and white. If I accidentally switched it to monochrome to color, you would see this in color and then you would know that's the wrong way because that's not how we want to print. So as a review, you go to Sketchbook Pro for your file, you go back to the gallery, you click on the Share button, you click Epson iPrint, you check your settings to make sure they're in line. Usually this folder, uh, this is posted on the wall that all the settings are correct. I'm going to change this to monochrome. Click Done. Zoom in if you want, click Print, and you are done.